and welcome back to John and Mandy Go RVing. Today we are traveling to the Oaks at Point South Campground in South Carolina to stay for the night on our way down to Florida. This way we don't have to worry about driving all the way to Florida in one day. So we finally got through North Carolina. We've been driving through the rain now for probably almost five hours of this trip. Started hitting the rain in Virginia, probably about halfway through Virginia. And now we're in South Carolina, we just got into South Carolina. And we got here about the same time that Hurricane Sally did. Now, Hurricane's only a category one, but we're still getting a lot of rain. A little bit of wind, the wind's not too bad as you would expect for a hurricane right now. But the rain's coming down pretty good. And uh, we're getting close to our campground, we're about two hours away, so we're trying to decide what we're gonna do. did manage to get through the storm all right. We're on the other side of it now and we're getting close to our campground here soon so it wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be. I didn't like it. Second time we've come across this where there's a thousand trails next to the it's like gateway. A, it's like a Lowe's and a Home Depot yeah. was built next to each other. This Thousand Trails campground has 93 sites for RVs. It is pretty flooded right now due to Hurricane Sally. All of the sites were pull-throughs and all had full hookups. There are also restrooms available. The restrooms were clean and looked to have been recently updated. In this campground, you are nestled in beautiful surroundings, but it is in definite need of some TLC. There is a basketball hoop set up over by the office for people to use. Why don't we go for a stroll and check out the lakes? But use caution as there are alligators about.
Most of the amenities are unusable, like these horseshoe pits. And this mini golf course was the worst we've seen at any campground. Even Hurricane Sally didn't do all of this damage. John thinks maybe it blew in from another campground. And this pavilion has seen better days. The front office and camp store looks like they've done some renovations, so perhaps there are plans to extend upgrades into other parts of the campground. The pole, although green at the moment, looks like it was recently redone. They've given the doggies a good area to play and run off leash. Now we're on the second leg of our trip. We just left the campground before daybreak this morning. And take us about five and a half hours to get down to the Tampa Bay area. We're heading up Madeira Beach, KOA. So we made it down to Florida finally. We're stopping here at the visitor center so we can get some brochures. We got about what another three hours or so to get to Madera Beach. Yep. So we're almost there. Well that's it for today's episode. But we want to leave you with a preview of what to expect over the next three months of John and Mandy Go RV. And we hope you will come back to join us and grow with us as we journey the country RV and connecting with people, places, and nature of all kinds along the way, learning more about ourselves and our beautiful country we live in. God bless America. Thanks everyone for joining us today, and if you found any of this information useful, please give us a like and feel free to subscribe. Take care everyone.